Hey internet, the receiver of friends from a far event has been released today. I'm a little bit late, but let's get it started. All right. So, let's go there. So once again, you get primo gems, weapon materials, heroes whip, weapon crystals, and Mora. Okay, let's go. Okay. Don't know what this event is. I guess we'll find out. If it's voice, it might be important. Look, Traveler, an urgent hiring notice and they're paying top words! Hmm. You're right, it is strange. Do you think something happened to Yen Xiao? Cause that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper who I am. Should we go and see what's up? Yeah, and we can ask... Alright. Let's find out what this quest is all about. Boss, uh, there's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Actually a good boss. Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? And we decided to come check out... Um... Check up on you, Chow! Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Oh. All right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern rite. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. Even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing, just a tiny burn. I can still... Now, now. I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. But the Lantern Rite's only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. B uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I... I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. But he's not wrong. Yan Chao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Mm. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Oh, of course, you! Oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it, I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Xiao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if any. Well, 
Since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. What do you think, Traveler? Should we do it? I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself, so I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Whew. All done. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Xiao. I'll leave you to take it from here. You really went to all the trouble of building a new stovetop? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff. No, no, it's nothing like that. As Boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Ahem. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, it also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Ah, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt. To Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. You have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Uh, his last point is making Paimon's head spin. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well-traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Okay. Very interesting choice that they chose to voice this uh, event. There's no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. But what you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Oh, Paimon's memory is like a steel trap! This is gonna be a cinch! Uh... What ticket are we on again? Table one was onions, but... No chilies. Table two was chilies. Was Paimon just sleep floating? Ugh. We didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain has turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise... Today would have been even more challenging. No strange request? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me. Are you still open by any chance? 
That sounds familiar. Who could that be? Hyman knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out. Is that? Hey, uh, yes, what it is. We do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. It's all right. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Linny, Lynette, Remine, it is you! Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? What are the siblings doing here? Traveler, Paimon! What a nice surprise! Paimon was gonna say the same thing! Lending a helping hand at the inn. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. Well, what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? No, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern rite season. We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it Conjuring here. Uh, in our time here, we've seen Conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show. And even a wushu dance. It was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> and speaking of eating, as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh, you mean black bass? Perch soup? You're right. The name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful, blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. <laughs> what? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh... Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen. Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. Alright, let's cook something up. For the siblings. <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's one of those? Okay, we'll do our best. Okay. 
Um, I think we already got the recipe unlocked, or is that after the quest? Regardless, let's begin. So, what does this event do? Serve him up, okay. Let's figure it out. Okay, press it at the right time. Mm -mm. Hmm. So, when is the right time? Here? Nope. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Alright, okay, so it's not that bad. Easy enough. Alright. Okay, hold and release while at the right moment to mix. Okay. Alright, it's not that bad. Alright. A little bit of concentration, and we'll be okay. Okay. So, this is more of a... I guess... Is it a quick time event? Looks good. Can we swap things around? We can decorate the dishes. Cool, I guess. Alright. I don't know if that's gonna play a part in the event. Maybe? I don't know. So, what do they want? Spring? Okay. Cool. That's an interesting event. They made the cooking. Sorry for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. And you Um. Ah, uh, yes. We meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> oh, right! Of course, you're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. <clears throat> Looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. What is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um. Uh, uh. All right. Mm. Hmm. What is that? Crab roe? Yep. You have quite the palate with it. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab, complement succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. 
<laughs> I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well spoken? This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Huh? Uh, it's half gone already? When did that happen? I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Wait, don't fight over it! Hey, leave some for Paimon! Alright, cool. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Alright, cool. Event done. Alright, I see. So it appears that we're just going to be doing some casual cooking events and we're gonna move the decorations and just cook some interesting meals all right so that's the event and it looks like it's the events gonna last for four days okay so thanks for watching hope you had a great day be sure to like subscribe Share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, leave a comment below if you enjoy these casual mini games, become a member if you want to, drop a super thanks if you want to, until next time, see ya.